Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited for today's video because this is a Primark haul. I haven't done one of these on my channel for such a long time so I'm happy to be back doing what is best on my channel and I'm bringing you a Primark haul. Now I've been into Primark so many times the last few weeks but there's just been nothing but I went on my own today because I have been going with Callum and he absolutely hates shopping and I always feel like I feel rushed when I'm with him um, so I went on my own today, drove over there, had a little Primark trip on my own and it was probably like the best thing I've actually done for myself in a very long time which is probably really sad for me to say but I actually thoroughly enjoyed being on my own um, so I'm bringing you a Primark haul now this is stuff that I have mainly got for when I go away on holiday and when I go to Butlins as well so yes I'm very excited to show you guys what I have picked up and let's get straight into the video my hair is like freshly washed today um, I let it air dry last night it's still pretty straight but it's still a little bit like crazy so I've just had to like partition it like that I don't normally wear my hair like this but I'm actually quite liking it considering it's like freshly washed hair so I have my Primark bag here so we're gonna dive straight into the bag I've actually taken the label off these but I just picked up some sunglasses which I absolutely love they were £3.50 and Callum's like they're massive for your face but I love these I think they actually suit me quite well um, not gonna lie so I picked up those for £3.50 I absolutely love Primark sunglasses so those are definitely worth the money I mean they're very much like you still squint through them but I just buy them because I like them <laughs> next few items are the same but I'll show you because I got them in different colours so these were £2 each which I think is really really good so I needed some like vest tops and they actually didn't do any white or black ones which I was really surprised at they only did like coloured ones but I like them and I thought we could like style them up a bit in the summer so I got them all in a size medium and like I said they were £2 each so it's just a pink strappy vest top you can actually adjust the um straps as well which is good because i am quite small on top and i only got a medium just so like they're a little bit longer on me um but yeah i got that one in pink i literally just smacked myself in the face with the label i got a lovely lovely green color which i absolutely love this type of color at the moment as well like just look how nice they go together i actually need to get like some green trousers to go with these and then some pink trousers to go with this one but just those two colors together are so so pretty so i got pink a green and then i also got a blue like a royal blue color as well which again i love that color so i got three of those look how summery they are as well like i literally I'm obsessed with how summery they are um so they're to like take on holiday i think that would just be like a good statement to have um you would have seen the video by now but i am going back to weymouth with callum his sister and her partner and honestly we are all so excited and literally cannot wait they have never been to Weymouth before, so it's going to be nice to show them around. So that is definitely going to be a good statement in my suitcase. I then just picked up some pink cycling shorts. I've got a black pair already, and I wanted to get another black pair, but they didn't have a black pair. It seems like in Primark at the moment, it's lot, it's like a lot of pinks, greens, blues, etc. But I really didn't mind because I actually really like these. Um, so I got a size medium which in Primark is a 12 to 14 and these were £3 which is really good again. I also got my mum um, a grey pair, she asked me to grab a, a pair so mum's got a grey and I've got a pink pair. I thought they'd be really nice to just go under summer dresses and things like that because if you do have 
big thighs like me you chafe in the summer and it really hurts your thighs so these are actually really nice to put underneath anything to stop your legs from chafing together and making them sore and also just to wear with a nice long t-shirt as well so i'm glad i picked up the pink ones now i also just picked up some of the oval um cosmetic pads these are 90p and you get 100 in there they're literally the best ones because they're so wide you can get a lot more product on them as well and then i saw these in the window on one of like the mannequins and i was like searching around the shop to see where they were and i found them and i got myself a pair so this is a white pair of like floaty paper bag at the top trousers i think they're linen um but they're like crinkly i don't know if, how well you can see it in the camera but they are quite crinkly as well which i love so i think they are like a linen type the only thing i would say i wish it had some pockets and they are really see-through so i will wear some like white underwear underneath but these are a size medium so a 12 to 14 again and these were 10 pounds but i just love the detail at the top of them I think that's so nice. It's got a drawstring to bring you in as well at the waist, which I love. And I just think they're really pretty. They're wide leg, they're floaty. They'd be really comfy for like evening or even to wear them to the beach just as a little cover up. But I thought for £10, that is actually really, really good. Now, I am quite literally obsessed with what I'm about to show you. But at the same time, I'm gutted because I'm going to have to return it because my mum, when I showed her when I got home, did notice there was a stain on the back, which is so, so annoying. Like, if someone has stained something, don't just put it back. Just go and tell someone so they don't put it back on the shelf for someone else like me to pick it up, buy it, not realise, get home and can't wear it. So now I have to go back, return it and get a different one. Um... Which, oh, again, isn't an issue, but it's just annoying, isn't it? So this was £11. This is actually a nighty, but I'm going to wear it out with cycling shorts because it can be classed as a t-shirt dress. Honestly, you will need to run to Primark and get one because I am obsessed. Look how friggin' cute that is. So it's a Tom and Jerry nighty but it can be worn as a t-shirt dress and the back is even better let me show you the back now this is the part where it's stained so if you do see it just ignore it look that is the back of the t-shirt that's the top and then that is the front but it's very long i got it in a size medium so it was oversized and yeah i'm literally obsessed with it it's so nice but it has all like stains at the front here it has like what looks like oil stain on the cat on tom so yeah it's not great and i'm gutted so i will have to um exchange it which luckily they did have a lot today there so i'm hoping they have a lot on sunday as well but yeah, I love it. I think it's so cute and I cannot wait to wear that in the summer with some cycling shorts because quite frankly that is like the cutest top I think I've ever owned. I literally am obsessed with it and Tom and Jerry was literally my favourite when I was a kid as well. So I'm really buzzing that I picked that up. And then I just picked up these really cute pink and white trainers. I've actually got them in like a cream colour. Got these in a size 6 and these were £14. But I thought they would be really cool just to wear in the summer and would go really nice with either the vest top or my cycling shorts as well. Look how cool they are. Do a little close up for you, there you go. Even the soles are like pink, which I think are so sick. I used to be all for like the branded shoes, which of course I still absolutely love. But if you can get like really cool ones in Primark for a fraction of the price, then obviously I'm going to buy these and wear them. So I thought these would be good for holiday, for Butlins. Um, if I did wear them at Butlins, they'd probably get wrecked anyway. Um... But yeah, just because they are cheap, it would be good just to wear around summertime. 
so yes i picked up a pair of those and then i picked up these glasses for butlins too these are just a pink pair again and it has sort of like iridescent colors in it it's sort of like a glittery color and i thought these would be cool on one of the nights to wear i mean they probably don't suit me but it's sort of like a 90s type vibe so we'll be wearing these when we go to Butlins on one of the nights so yeah I thought that would be a really cute little accessory to have and then lastly the last thing I picked up was this Power Puffs Girl which I actually got this a few weeks ago now this was only £6 I got it in a size 12 to 14 and again this is to wear at Butlins when we go because Power Puff Girls was a 90s thing so yeah I thought that was really good for Primark they also had matching shorts as well to go with it but they were quite short and I don't wear short shorts anyway and I wouldn't wear it out in public um, just literally would wear the top so that is coming with me to Butlins as well to wear either it will probably most likely be a daytime top because I've already got one of my outfits sorted for the evening um, so yes that was a good find for £6 as well which I thought was an absolute bargain for a little power puff t-shirt so altogether I want to say that was around 50 odd 60 pounds because I did get a few bits like quite a while ago so adding that all in together I would say about 60 pounds roughly maybe a bit less but yes that is everything that I have picked up from Primark so far there will probably be a few more hauls just before we go to Weymouth because I do need to get a few other little bits but that is everything from Primark. I've literally loved filming this because I have missed Primark hauls so, so much. So I hope you did really enjoy and run to Primark to get that Tom and Jerry top because I'm obsessed and I'm sure it will look amazing on everyone else. But don't go to the one closest to me because I need to go and exchange mine on Sunday. We'll be back soon with another video and I think my next video will most likely be my hair transformation which hopefully I'll be able to film in the salon. I'm getting my hair done next Wednesday, which I'm so, so excited for. I haven't had it done in over a year. Can't believe it's been a year. And my hair has literally grown loads as well, which I'm really happy with. But yes, that will hopefully be my next video. I will see you next time in my next video. Bye, guys.